make right decisions, listen to the inner witness of the Holy Spirit. Romans 8 verses 14 through 16. For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. The Bible teaches us something very important that as believers, we can be led by the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is God himself indwelling us as believers. And one of the things he does by his indwelling presence is that he leads us. That's why we read in Romans 8, 14, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are governed, they are guided, guided and they are directed by the Spirit of God. As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Or we could state it like this, that the sons of God, the children of God, the sons and daughters of God are people who have this characteristic, that they are people who are led by the Holy Spirit. They are guided, governed and directed by the Spirit of God who dwells in them. This is what describes or defines, one aspect that defines sons and daughters of God. Now, how does, this, how does the Holy Spirit do His work in us? He bears witness with our spirit. Romans 8, 16 says, The Spirit Himself bears witness with our spirit. That means His leading, His speaking to us, His testifying to us takes place in our spirit. He speaks to us in our inner person, in our spirit. So the guidance that the Holy Spirit brings to us comes in our inner person. It doesn't come necessarily in our mind or on our, through out, outward uh, expressions, but it begins in our spirit. So in order to be led by the Spirit of God, we need to listen to the Holy Spirit and what He is telling us, what He is witnessing to us in our spirit. So you do it like this. You say, Holy Spirit, thank you that you're God who is in me. Could you lead me? What are you telling me? What is the right decision that I should make uh, in this situation? What should I do? How do I respond? How do I react? Or how do I say, what do I need to do, Holy Spirit? You pray and you ask Him. He is indwelling you. He is God. He's a person in within you. And He is there to guide you. So you ask Him. Now He will speak to you in your spirit. That means your spirit has faculties they can tune in to the Holy Spirit. Your spirit has the ability to see. Your spirit has the ability to hear. Your human spirit has the ability to feel and, and receive the promptings, the sayings, the witnessings, the impressions, uh, the revelations which the Holy Spirit is imparting to your spirit. So as you pray, then out of your spirit comes the inspiration. There may be times when some understanding just wells up in your spirit. Or sometimes you may get a picture that comes up in your spirit. Sometimes there will be a prompting, a stirring, a, a, a strong feeling coming up inside you. These are different ways that the spirit bears witness with our spirit. There'll be a sense of peace, calmness, quietness, a sense of confidence, a sense of assurance, a sense of joy. Sometimes there'll be a sense of discomfort, a sense of, no, this is not the right thing. These are knowings and impressions the Holy Spirit is putting in your spirit. As you and I learn to tune to the Spirit of God, we can learn to receive of what He witnesses to us in our spirit. But this is a very important way that God's people are led. As many as are led by the Spirit, they are children of God. And the Spirit bears witness with our spirit. Learn to listen to the Spirit of God in you. Let's pray. Father, we just ask for the grace to be able to listen to the witness of the Spirit, to what the Spirit testifies to our spirit, so that we can be led by the Spirit of God. In Jesus' name. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.